From Steins Gate's English movie dub to Kimi no Nawa's continuous rise to the top of the film industry, I'm your host, Anime Sam, and this is Annie News. So welcome back guys to another episode of Annie News. Today's episode is going to be a little bit shorter than usual because there hasn't really been too many big stories over the past couple of days. But that's just given me a little bit more time to focus on making a channel trailer, so you can expect that to come out sometime in the near future. So anyway, starting us off for the previews today is one for the anime adaptation of the novel Clockwork Planet. So the synopsis for this is actually pretty vague and short, so I thought that I'd just read it to you instead of summarizing it like I usually do. So yeah, here we go. One day, a black box suddenly crashed into the house of the high school dropout Naoto Meura. Inside it was a female automation, the endless cycle of failure and success. The world that does change, and the mankind that does not change. At a time where reality and fantasy are screaming, the encounters of these two make the gears of fate move. So yeah, go ahead and take from that what you will, because I'm not entirely sure what to make of it myself. But anyway, this will be produced by Studio Zebek and will be airing this upcoming April. The next preview is for the anime adaptation of the manga The Royal Tutor, or in Japanese, Oshitsu Kyoshi Hain. The premise is actually quite simple. A kingdom-appointed royal tutor must teach each of the four kingdoms princesses whom each have their own distinct personality. It's a historical comedy being done by Studio Bridge and is also set to air this upcoming April. So now moving on, the already completed anime Eureka 7 is getting a four-part final episode to promote their new game. The first part has already aired, and the second part will air on January 24th, with the third and fourth part following one week after that. Now for the final preview on our list, it's the English dub for Studio White Fox's uh, 2013 Steinsgate movie, Load Region of Deja Vu. So if you're a hardcore Steinsgate fan, then there's definitely no doubt in my mind that you've already seen this movie. But if you happen to be like me and happen to watch the dub instead of the sub, then seeing the English voice actors in the movie might just be something to trigger you to start watching it. Then, whose code is this? That's yours! Oh, of course, and of course. Something so. keeps tugging and tugging at the back of my mind, tugging and telling me. He vanished to the air. I can't think of his name, but he's member 001. So. Member 001? No one's been designated with that Alright, now we can move on to a couple of announcements. A web series called Tamapons will be airing as a six-part episode short on YouTube starting January 27th. And an anime adaptation for the rock band style game franchise Dynamic Chord has been announced on their official website. No further information on this has been revealed yet, but I'll be sure to keep you updated if anything happens. Finally, we got a pretty badass looking visual for the second part of the compilation film of the anime series Overlord. The first part is set for release on February 25th, and the second part on March 11th. So if you want to see more Ein Zalgun action, then definitely check these out when they air. Now going on to the news, this whole segment is pretty much just going to be about Kimi no Nawa because there was a lot of big stories relating to it in the past few days. So to begin, this shouldn't really come as a shock to you guys and it wasn't really a matter of whether it would happen or not, but more of rather when it would happen. So according to an article by otakutale.com, your name has become the highest grossing anime film of all time finally surpassing Studio Ghibli's Spirited Away in international gross income. This next one, which is even bigger news in my opinion, is that finally, 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 it's coming to North America. Yes, Kimi no Nawa is getting a North American release. And like, I just don't mean a premiere here and there like in certain locations, I mean a full American and Canadian release of both the English sub and dub versions of the film. I can't tell you guys how long I've been waiting for this announcement, but I honestly just can't wait to see Shinkai's art on the big screen. However, the release date is set for April 7th, so that's still a fair bit to wait if you still haven't seen it yet. Also, there is a premiere happening at the New York International Children's Film Festival, so if you're willing to go all the way there just to see it, tickets do go on sale on January 25th. Alright, now remember how I shared with you in my last video what the top selling Blu-rays and DVDs were in Japan? And I also mentioned how that, that's usually a typical indicator of what the industry may focus on since that what was the most popular? Well, Girls on Panzer, the second best anime Blu-ray, is being set for a Canadian theatrical release on January 26th. So over 30 major Canadian cities will be screening the Moe Tank fighting film that is Girls on Panzer. Now I'm not saying that there's no hope for your favorite anime film to hit the big screens here in Canada or America. I'm just saying that as of now, it's the Japanese trends that dictate what gets the focus. So that's going to wrap it up for all the news that I have. Uh, moving on to my last segment, which is the featured community video. 
Uh, have you ever wondered what K-On would be like if Gordon Ramsay was the voice actor for all the girls? Well, wonder no more, because a fine YouTuber by the name of Arthramus has done exactly that, and it's actually just hilarious. Take a look. Alex, you're 32 years of age, you speak fucking good English, and your attitude stinks. Fuck off! Who the fuck are you to turn around and tell me when you work like a pig? You French pig! So if you want to see the rest of the clip, or anything else that I've mentioned today, all the links to everything are in the description below. As always, go give the support to the original content creators. And yeah, so that's going to wrap up my show for today. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you want to see more of this type of content, then you already know what to do. So until next time, ciao!